When we talked about coal and petroleum as exhaustible resources in younger days, we all talked about how one day they might exhaust. Well, looks like the days are not too far with the major areas in the world starting to face coal shortage. Hello everyone, welcome to the digital platform of Tarun IAS. I am Nandini Bhatnagar and let me wish you first a happy Indian Air Force Day to all the air warriors of the nation. And today we are talking about the crisis of coal in the country. The world is starting to face a shortage of coal and other energy resources. In the post-pandemic era where the world is still struggling to adjust with the new normal, looks like new troubles are heading for our generation. The prices of natural gas are increasing in Europe. Industries are being shut down in China while our own country struggles to fulfill the demand of coal. The country, which is the second largest coal producing country, is now starting to face a major decline in the production of coal. The coal stocks in various power plants have reached a low value of four days of stock in comparison to the government regulation of 14 days of stock. On October 4, 16 thermal power plants with a power generation capacity of 17,475 megawatts had zero days of coal stock. An additional 45 thermal power plants with a power generation capacity of 59,790 megawatts had coal stock only sufficient for up to two days of generation. Overall, power plants that have a power generation of 132 gigawatts had critical or super critical levels of coal stock. In 2019, India consumed about 106 billion units for coal, while in 2021, it has faced a sharp rise of consumption being 124 billion units. While the country's demand for power and electricity increases, the supply of coal is in match to fulfill the country's need. Around 66% of the country's power generation depends on coal. The transition to green resources hasn't been planned enough to make an immediate and smooth shift. While countries like China have started to face major power cuts, India hasn't reached that situation yet. So let's discuss what are the major causes of the growing crisis. Number one is the increased demands. While the country is still struggling to break above the effect of the second wave of the pandemic, it faces an increased demand of fuel and coal. During the months of the second wave of the demand of power was at an all-time high and it continues to rise at a similar rate. Secondly, the rate of rainfall. The rate of rainfall in the coal producing areas has also been high due to which the production of coal has also been lower. Also because of this, there have been less dispatches of coal to parts of the country. The high international prices. The prices of coals have increased everywhere, which means that there have been fewer imports. Indonesia, which is the largest importer of coal to India, has reported prices of imports increasing from $60 in March to $200 in September this year. Global climate change. As we know, climate change is a phenomenon that has been in the focus for a while now. However, no action as such has been taken by our leaders to find control of the situation, especially in a post-pandemic world. The climate has been changing with snow caps melting, rivers drying up and pollution levels going unchecked. So, let us discuss what effect does it have on us? We are looking at major power cuts in many parts of the country. We might be looking at a higher rate and duration of power cuts in the coming months if the crisis is not accounted for. The slowing economy. The country might be headed for a toppling economy yet again as offices and workplaces might have to be closed due to the reduced power supply which now might have to be rationed. The colder winter. With winter just around the corner, where demand of power increases for warmer homes, there might be no stock of coal left for the same. Finally, let's discuss how is the situation being handled. As reported by the Indian Express, an inter-ministerial team that includes representatives of the power and railway ministries, 
Coal India Limited, the Central Electricity Authority and Power System Operation Corporation is monitoring the supply of coal to thermal power plants. Also, factories known as captive industries, which produce coal for their own use, have now been allowed to sell about 50% of the production in the market to help meet the rising demand. As we can see, the crisis needs to be taken care of and soon. So friends, we hope this video helped you in knowing about the coal crisis. Before you forget, like our video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for latest current affairs. Thank you.